Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be sitting down and playing with the Beauty Bay Bright 2.0 again. Yeah, um, I've actually been really enjoying this palette. I've used it a couple of times. Um, so yeah, but I thought this time I really want to do like a bluey greeny kind of look because I haven't played too much with the bluey greens so I thought we well, know what we're gonna do a video with the blue greens because I had a couple of comments asking me to do and I also had a comment asking me to compare the Midnight Earthy and Berries palette from Beauty Bay to see how many comparisons I can find between these and then the Bright 2.0 so yes we're gonna get on with the comparisons first because yeah, <laughs> it'd probably just be easier to use me. So, because I've already got them out. So, yeah. First off, I'm um, gonna look at the Berries palette first. I could only really find two, like, real comparisons between the palettes. So, the first one is Shake, which is this pink shade here, and Macaroon, which is this one here. So I'm going to do a swatch of them both and then you guys can see if there's much comparison. I mean they're very similar but then they're also different as well like one is a bit darker than the other but I still thought I would compare it for you guys because it is they are pretty similar. So this one here is the macaroon shade from the bright 2.0 and then this one here is the Shake shade from the Berries palette. So yeah, that's them too. The other comparison that I found, which yeah, there's only one more I would say, is Journal, which is this one here. And then Fig, which is this one here. So I'll give them a little swatchy swatch. These are pretty close, I would say. Like, there's not much difference between them. So the bottom one, again, is the Bright 2.0 palette, the shade Fig. And then this one is from the Berries palette, Journal. So they are the only two shades I could find that were a real close comparison. So yeah, that is from that palette. Moving on to the Midnight palette, which is this one, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I actually need to wipe off the shades from my hand. Do that first. Okay. Yes. So, from, there's actually not many in here, to be honest with you. Um, like, looking at it. So, there's the first one, which is Lavender, from the midnight palette which is this one here and then also grape soda which is this one here so again i'll do the bright 2.0 on the bottom so this one is the bright 2.0 Oh, which is grape soda and this one is lavender from the midnight palette this is i feel like there's a deeper undertone to the one from the berries palette this is almost got like a brighter kind of undertone to it but yeah um And the only other shade that is like a close comparison, I would say, is the black. Um, so obviously we've got Hex from the Midnight palette, which is this one here. And then Storm from the Beauty Bay 2.0 palette, which is this one here. Obviously we're doing Beauty Bay. I, haven't, I don't usually use black. I'm quite scared of it, it's quite a scary kind of shade. But yeah, I know that some blacks are more pigmented from 
or the palettes, so. Yeah, I feel like this black from the, ber from the berries from the Midnight palette is actually a bit darker than the one from the Bright 2.0. So that one is Storm from the Bright 2.0 and then this one is Hex from the Midnight palette. So yeah, again, only two real comparisons I would say. Okay, and then from the Earthy palette, I can't really see a lot. Um, so I think Ivy from this palette and then Kale from the Bright 2.0, this one here. I'm gonna see if they are. This one's definitely deeper. So this one is from the Bright 2.0, this is Kale, and then this one is from the Earthy palette, which is Ivy. So. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but yeah. Um, so yeah. And then I don't know really know if there's anything else. To be honest with you, I don't think there is. No, honestly, I don't think there's anything else. So, yeah, pretty much from each palette. I mean, from the just from the um, Earth palette, there was just one real comparison, and then obviously from the Midnight and Berries, only two from each. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of difference between the shades in here and the shades from the Earthy, Midnight, and Berries. Obviously, I don't have the bigger midnight and the bigger earthy palette so i can't compare because there might be more comparisons in this one with them ones but from the 16 pan ones yeah there's not too many comparisons so yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna zoom you guys in um and we're gonna get started on a bluey probably greeny kind of look so yeah i'll be right back okay so starting off i think i'm gonna do like green on the in a portion and then like blend it out into the blue so i'm gonna take the shade oh i don't know if to take jungle or playground first then we'll go into jungle first and i'll pop that down i'm not gonna do like a cut crease or anything i'm just gonna like I like to like be a kind of messy kind of look. I feel like I've done a lot of like funky looks at the minute, so yeah. That shade's really nice. I don't remember if I've actually used the shade or not before, but it's really nice. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Island which is a shade that's like a bluey kind of green. It's quite similar to that shade actually, isn't it? Oh, the sun's coming through. I might need to close that blind. So yeah, I'm just blending it. It's very similar to that that um jungle shade. Oh my goodness, the sun is like blinding me. Let me close that. Okay, then I'm gonna go into a blue. I'm thinking going into swim first. Um and then I might deepen it up. But we'll see. Yeah, I might have to go into a little bit of infinity as well. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that. I 
so far very nice very nice okay so i think i'm gonna try and blend out the first greeny shade with like a yellow i don't really know it's gonna work out but i guess we'll see uh, i'm gonna take a little bit oh what do i take canary or sunflower hmm Hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit of sunflower, which is like the bright, bright yellow. And blend it out up here. Then I'm going to go into Playground and we're going to blend this out above the Island Shade. I also want to take a tiny bit of canary as well just kind of like above that okay and then i'm going to take i'm going to take a little bit of swim which is that shade that we went into before i might need to definitely lighten this up There's not another like light blue shade in here. So I'm kind of like confused as to what to kind of go in with. I might have to like, I mean there is a white so I might have to like mix it in with the white. But yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of Swim, which is a shade I just used, and Sneakers, that's the white shade. I'm literally just going to mix them together a little bit and kind of like create a custom shade to help like blend it out. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to jump off camera. I'm just going to build these shades up one more time, build them up, blend them out. I'm not going to cut the crease, however, I'm going to clean it up a little bit because as you can see, it's not the best. Um, and then we'll come back, we'll pick a lid shade, we will, yeah, we'll apply the lid shade, and yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've literally just quickly just blended it out. I think it looks way better now that I've like blended it out a little bit more. But yeah, now to crack on with the lid shade. Why did I just say crack on? I've just been watching Love Island. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go, I think, into the shade bottle for my lid shade. I'm just gonna get a brush. Um see, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Extra Clean Hill JH42 brush. I know that this brush works really well with these shimmer shades. So let's pop one on. might go in with like on like a lighter shade just for the right the inner corner that shade is so pretty look at that i do love their shimmers i really do i think they're incredible 
But yeah, insane. Look at that. Mm. Dunning. I don't really know what to do for like the right on the inner corner. I mean, there's that shade, which is a bit brighter. Or there is a shade that I've used before, which is that one. I think I think I'm gonna try this one just because I haven't tried it before. Um, so that shade is marine. Yeah, marine. I'm just gonna literally go into the same brush. Um, so go into it. It's crazy. It looks like it's got like a little, sh like other little glitter or shimmer flecks in it. I mean, there's not much difference between them two shades. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Azura shade, which is that blue shade that I have used before. I wasn't going to, but however, I am gonna add a little bit now, just a smidge. Oh, how, oh they're, just, they're just stunning. I wish there was a lighter shade in here, like a lighter in a corner shade, which I have said before, but yeah, and that shade is beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shade Swim and I'm just gonna like blend it slightly into the shimmer. So, I like that, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna do my base and everything and then we'll be right back with the finished look. So yeah, be right back. Please let me know what you guys think, I really like it. I think it's really quite cute. Yeah, um, I did also add a little bit, sorry, of the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade, well, blush light in the shade Drip Drip, just to the lid, just to give it a little bit of something more, because I felt like it was just kind of missing a little bit of something, this has given it a little bit of sparkle. But yeah, so what's my final verdict on like the bluey kind of shades? I really like them. I will continue to use this palette because I really like it. Um, I still think the shades work really well. I haven't tried it with a different primer and like with the purples again as of yet, but all the other shades I can definitely say is really great quality, really great quality, um, especially for the price as well. So yeah, if there's any other looks you want me to do with this palette or any other looks you want me to film in general, please just let me know. Um, but yeah, um, so I guess that's it for today's video. Uh, as always, I'll link everything else that I'm wearing on my face in the description box down below. And also, if you did like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So it really helped me out. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!